What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, you guys like my new sword? <laughs> last time we left off, we actually went over to the desert for the very first time and speaking of that sword, we actually had a shrine in the desert and we placed down a prismatic shard in like the middle of the shrine and the prismatic shard turned into that galaxy sword from the intro, which is crazy. As well as in the uh, desert, we met a new person named Sandy, I think her name was Sandy, and she's like a merchant over there, like an actual NPC. There's like two merchants. There's another merchant that like sells stuff, but he doesn't sell for money or whatever. You have to trade it with like the Omni Geodes and diamonds and other gems and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but then also there's another there's like a cave. There's like a cavern. It's called like the Skull Cavern, which is pretty cool. And that's actually what this little letter right here is referring to. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. And I've got a mountain of gold to send to you if you could do it. Your friend. Mr. Key, Ooh, I'm mysterious and you don't know who I am. <laughs> but yeah, this the Skull Cavern is kind of like the mines where you have, you have to go down like different layers and all that kind of stuff, but there's like no elevator. You guys said there's no elevator, so I guess every time you go into the, the, the Skull Cavern, you always start at like level zero or level one or whatever. Uh, you can't like skip down to level five or anything like that. So it seems like you have to do all 25 levels in one go if you want to do that. And I don't know if you could use the staircase to help you, you make your way down there. And then again, the staircases are indeed Pretty heckin' expensive, like 100 stone each, right? And speaking of stone, we have 135 right now. We need to get 200 stone in order to upgrade the barn, uh, and then 450 wood, and then 12,000 gold as well. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that right now. We might do that later on this episode, because we have 17,000 gold right now, but we need 65 more uh, stone in order to actually upgrade the thing. So uh, what I'm kind of thinking about doing is maybe we'll go back to the desert here in just a minute, and then we'll uh, get a bunch of stone while exploring around in the uh, in, in the skull cavern a little bit more, you guys. And then maybe later on this episode, the second half of this episode, we'll actually get the, the 200 stone and then start upgrading the barn later this episode so that's that's kind of my plan right now and then uh as you can see i already took care of like the the chickens the cows all the kind of stuff I already water all the crops that's why it's like almost noon right now in game and then uh also got some comments from guys last episode saying that i need to uh go to the sewer guy and buy another iridium sprinkler because he sells it every friday for ten thousand gold so what i'm thinking about doing is selling all that stuff that's going to take us back up to like 20 22 000, 23 000. and by the way the oak resin stone right there 23,000 or something like that, I'd, I'd say. Then we'll we'll buy the Iridium Sprinkler for 10,000. We'll have like 13,000 left over, and then we could use that to upgrade the barn, right? So that should be good. And then also last episode, at the end of last episode, I did get the Strange Bun. Uh, a couple episodes ago, you guys said to use the Strange Bun and put it in Vincent's toy box. I think this is his house. Yeah, this is his house. He's got a toy box right there. So we're supposed to get the toy, or the Strange Bun, and then... Ow! Oh, what is... Ah! For what the... Oh, I could play... Oh my god, I thought that was like a heckin' <laughs> That was like an, uh, an enemy in my heck. Wait, yeah, for- It's just a bunch of question marks and then Ferogamon? Ferogamon? Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a weird like frog with like- Is that a dinosaur? I can't tell. <laughs> well, that seems kind of crazy there. What do I do? Do I just leave it in here? Do I, can I give that to Vincent? Is that going to be like a loved gift for Vincent or something? I don't know. <laughs> And then there's Sam right there. He's completely oblivious to what just happened inside of uh, Vincent's house or in his room. <laughs> anyway, let's go, let's go to the sewer. Let's go talk to uh, Krobus, I think his name was, right? Uh, let's go buy the Iridium Sprinkler for 10000 because apparently he sells them every Friday. You guys made sure to uh, tell me before I heckin' missed out. Hey, yep, 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 there it is right there, 10000 So let's... If we get that... We, we have one Iridium Sprinkler right now. We need four. So if I buy this, we're going to be halfway. And I only need two more after this, so... This is going to be really good. This is going to further automate the farm. Because right now, it's pretty much all automated. Except for, like, three spots well, where all the melons are growing. We're trying to get a large melon growing there, right? So, let's buy this for 10,000. Boom. And yeah, he only sells one at a time, unfortunately. So, that guy sucks there. Won't buy my uh, mayonnaise and all the kind of stuff. So, I guess we'll go to Pierre and try and sell him over there, right? Then I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally at the top of my notes. Speaking of Pierre, yeah. Um, I mentioned it at the end of the last episode. I want to buy the fruit trees. To oh, well, if I did that... And we'd have like no money left over, so I'm like, it. I I need to I need the fruit trees to start growing right now for fall, and then we'd have like three weeks or whatever for fall to get the fruit from them. And you get you get the fruit every single day, so uh, well I could sell. I'm like we we have a lot of crops growing right now. We could always we could sell a bunch of our. Uh, oh look at this, we have a mission right now. I'd like an aquamarine for a train or to, for a chain. <laughs> 
Oh, please deliver it to me uh, sometime today. I don't think we have to actually do it today. I think this is like last like two or three days, right? Cause we had a mission like this beforehand. 500 gold uh, on delivery and then Ken will be thankful. Let's definitely do that because we haven't done it. Get a little bit of relationship points with Ken. He's kind of new, so definitely want to try and uh, do some stuff for him. But yeah, I could just sell some crops. We have a lot of gold star, silver star crops, etc. just in storage right now. So we could definitely get some of the money back that way, right? Because we're going to get about, I'd say like four or 5,000 from the mayonnaise that we have right now. Uh, so we're at 7,400 right now. So if I sell the mayonnaise and then the gold star cheese, Oh man, only like 4,000 right there. Man, I thought we'd get, well, I could sell some of the common mushrooms, but 16, that's not even really that much. Well, at least we have, how much, which trees did I need? I know it was like apple and like something else, right? Apple sapling and then pomegranate, yeah. Six, oh, that's 10,000 together though. I, ha I have the money. Uh, if I do that, I need to sell about 12,000 gold worth of crops overnight and then we can, I don't know, man. Let's do it. I, I need to get started because I, I, I've been procrastinating with this. Let's get the apple seed. Let's get the pomegranate sapling. Let's get those going. And then let's go plant them down. I don't think you can give them a... I, don't, I, I think it specifically says. I don't think the uh, tree fertilizer. I don't think that works on it, right? Yeah, it does not work on fruit trees. So we can't help with that. It's always going to take 28 days to grow, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. So uh, I guess I would just start growing it right now, right? Then uh, maybe later on this episode, we'll also go give uh, Kent his aquamarine. Because I kind of want to go to the desert like right now. We're wasting a little bit of time here, honestly. So... As long as we go over to the desert up there before, like, I think, what, five? We should be able to do it, because I think was, uh, was her name? Pam. She's the bus driver. I think at 5 p.m. she starts uh, leaving, right? So, I know, it's like, I guess we'll go down here. Do we have the room for it, or do I need to get rid of some walls? I might need to. I guess right here we can put the stuff down and then move the wall up a little bit. On granite, so if I did this, what is this? One, two. Yeah, wow, we have, like, exactly enough room here, you guys. Cool. But we, we, we can't place down a, a wall right there now. Man. So, there's that. And we need to make sure there's a clean by three by three around it. So uh, get rid of that torch. There you go. Place down the apple tree right here. Boom. And I guess I'll place the walls. Where do they go? Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the walls like just straight up just die whenever you break them. So <laughs> you have to you have to remake them or, you know, grab them or whatever over here. So I guess we'll do this. Uh, I think it's just one. It might be two, but I'll grab two walls just in case. Just to prevent. Well, then again, I don't have farm animals over here anymore, so I don't think it's really that big of a deal. But I'll still place that down right there. But now we have apple. We have pomegranate. We have... Is that orange? That tree's like really close to being done. I wouldn't be surprised if it finishes like... Uh, oh man, yeah, in two days, holy heck, it's going to finish up really, really quickly, guys. And it's a summer crop, so yeah, it is orange. We're going to get some oranges here pretty soon, you guys. Awesome! And then once it, once it actually does turn into, it, it like starts, you know, fruit start growing on it, then we can start placing down the uh, stuff around it just to make sure no other uh, weeds grow around it, right? So, anyways, is there anything else I want? Oh yeah, the other, uh, the original sprinkler. And I don't do that weird frog guy. Uh, which spot do I want to put? I guess I'll... Yeah, let's put it right there. That seems good. Nice. Uh, that way I can take care of those that are on top of each other. I don't know. Put this Put this guy inside, I guess, right? <laughs> put him, like, right there. There you go. I can do my intros and outros right next to him, I guess. <laughs> but let's go over here. Let's go put up the uh, torch. There you go. And let's go over to the desert now. And I guess we'll spend a little bit of time in the, uh, in the Skull Cavern. See how deep we can get. Hopefully get some good loot over there, right? So let's go over here and... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I forgot it cost 500 gold to do this. Man. We don't have that much money right now, but we can still afford it, so let's do that. Yeah. Man, I can't wait till we get, like, the... Well, then again, I can't... I, the totems are only one-time use, so... It's not like we save money by getting the totem things. The totem costs money themselves, unless I craft them, right? So, yeah, it's going to cost a lot of money just going back and forth and back and forth over here at the desert, right? But I'll still go over here. Let's go see what's in the Skull Cavern and see if there's anything new over here. Uh, see how deep we can get. Then, uh, hopefully, also, at the same time, don't want to forget... Want to get some more stone. We need to get about uh, 65 more stone. So let's definitely do. Oh, oh yeah. And I do want to. Another reason why I want to come over here is to test out the new galaxy sword as well. Because this one. And that thing's like invincible. We found that out last episode. Uh, oh, my gosh. An Omni Geo just right off the bat. Amazing. Holy heck. And then there's a couple like barrels over here we could open up. Let's see. Nothing good inside them. Man. All right. It looks like some of the stone over here. I could just break with one shot. And some of them will have to drop anything right there. <laughs> some of them take, like, uh, multiple shots. I, I did get a comment from someone saying uh, they did recommend that I upgrade the pickaxe before going to the Skull Cavern. Well, high size 2020, 2021, right? So <laughs> I guess maybe maybe later on. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I forgot these guys do a lot of damage. Just spam. There you go. Good. Oh, my gosh. Another prismatic shard. What are the heckin' odds? Holy. Well, I could donate this one to the museum. What if I put it in the heckin' the, the, the shrine again? Am I going to get another galaxy sword? Or is it going to be another thing? Or is that like a 
like every time you do it, is there going to be something different that spawns in there? I don't know, but there's a boulder over there. Oh, wow, we found the way down. Awesome. Oh, gosh, there's another one of those guys. Oh, seems like those uh, little, little, these dragon guys are really good for loot, you guys. I keep on saying guys a lot. <laughs> and the purple slime is so mad at me. Kill him, kill him. There you go. Man, we're, at, we're down to like two thirds health right now. Oh, we got no. Oh, we can get another. We have the third sprinkler done. And we got 10 stone right there. Awesome. Let's go down. Let's go down. What else is in here? Oh, a purple mushroom. Oh, yes. We need the purple mushrooms for more life elixirs. Yeah. Uh, we're always short on life elixirs. Or we're, yeah, yeah. We're short on purple mushrooms to make life elixirs. Uh, I don't think we have any right now. I might want to go home and show. Oh, my gosh. There's a second mummy right there. And the way down also, too. Cool. Uh, let's see how much stone I have because I just got the boulder and... We're breaking a bunch of stone and stuff like that over here. I kind of want to see how our uh, progress is doing right now. Yeah, I think we have four iridium more at home. Uh, if I smelt that overnight, hopefully it's going to be done in the morning, right? So that's going to be great. Golly, this is a great haul right now, you guys. And we got an Omni Geo too. So uh, with that, we're up to, whoops, with the 167 right there. Okay, we just need to get 30, or, yep, 30, uh, 33 more. And then we'll be good to go. And then there's a heckin' mummy right Yeah, you can't do it. Ah! Kill the mummy! What does he drop? What in the world is that? What is that? Is it just a pile of bones or toilet paper right there? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just keep on. Oh, he's back. Oh my gosh, he comes back. So can you not kill him or what? I don't know, man. All right, well, I guess I'll just keep on breaking stone over here and try and get more uh, stone. Uh, no boulders or anything like that over here. And we already found the way down. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just go down right now. There's another. Mu oh, what was that sound? Is there another enemy over here? I don't. Oh my God. Oh. We got a crit right there for like 200 damage. You guys see that? That was crazy. Hold on, kill, kill the mummy. Okay, no. Oh, he's blocking the way, man. Is there a... Ah, there's a ghost. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Ah, kill the ghost. Any more, uh, any more loot over here? Any more boulders? Anything like that? That's going to be very helpful if, if so. And Oh, wow. Found the way down immediately. Man. Uh, by the way. Oh, jeez. An Omni Geo right there. Awesome. Uh, I, I did check the luck earlier today and it is neutral, so... Uh, not getting any luck, or like, like heightened luck or anything like that. If you guys want to go, oh man, he keeps finding a way down. No, it's neutral luck today. So uh, I guess my, I myself am lucky, but not myself. Oh my God. Yeah, you can get a lot of Omni Geodes in here, you guys. Well, it makes sense. Because that one trade trader guy that has the camel in front, uh, he, he requires like what? Like 333 uh, Omni Geodes for something. I forgot what it was. Like some sort of like Pharaoh helmet or something like that, you know? And then like five um deal like he doesn't he doesn't trade money or anything like he trades like actual items and gems and stuff like that right so it only makes sense that you get a bunch of omni geos over here and that thing is invincible I think I said that earlier but yeah you can't do anything unless you can do it with the galaxy sword no it doesn't look like it, it seems like uh doesn't work here man kill this guy yeah as long as long as I spam this boom you can't do any damage to me so that's good uh, do we find the way down here yet or oh my gosh another omni geode <laughs> Yeah, remember that one trick, uh, if Clint opens up an Omni Geode and it's good, we definitely want to go back home and open up the other Omni Geodes with our Geode Cracker, and then we'll get the same item, unless they patch that, I don't know. Uh, that's going to be a great opportunity tomorrow to test that out. It's 8pm right now. We have a pretty good amount of time. Yeah, let's, let's keep staying in here. We still have, I don't know how much stone we, we're missing right now. How much do we have? We have 30. Oh, whoa, we have it. We have exactly enough. 200. Awesome. Okay, so our main objective is done right there, you guys. Awesome. I guess we'll just continue. Whoa, we got some gold down there. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll just continue and see how deep I can get. Uh, starting at like, what was it? Like 4, 430 or whatever here. And I guess we could kind of, kind of figure out, oh man, if I start, if I go over to the desert, like at the heckin' butt crack of dawn, and then I just, you know, go down and, and, and do a bunch of skull cavern stuff literally all day, could I make it to level 25? Or does it basically require you to, to use those staircases, like, constantly? Because I assume so, like, it's 8.40 p.m., about, about four in-game hours. It seems like one in-game hour per layer, at least for me so far. Uh... And, and of course, time would go, we'd be a little bit faster if I had an upgrade pickaxe, like you guys said. So I guess that's something we could do as well, but man, I am not finding the way down here at all. Holy heck, we're having bad luck. I might need to go to that staircase and just straight up leave. Well, then again, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to leave until like, say, I don't know, midnight? Because we, we, we're in the desert, we're in a completely different area. We need to leave, we need to have a little bit of time and then ride the bus and then we're at the bus stop again. Yeah, probably midnight, so we have only a couple more hours. Wow, another Omni Geo right there. Yeah, we have a couple more hours in game to uh, continue exploring around in here. Hopefully I can make it down to like later. Five. What in the world is that? There's just a shaft leading down. Jump in, do no- Oh my gosh. This could be- this could be like a really deep hole right here. Like this could lead down to like, I don't know, like layer 15. Or it could like kill me a fall damage. I don't know. 
I'm going to try it. Let's jump in. You fell four le- Oh! Oh, it took a little bit of damage, it looks like. Though. Okay, cool. Uh, which, <laughs> that's the first time I'm like, oh man, I'm so glad I took some damage right there, but hey, at least I'm, I'm down to layer eight right now. Amazing. Yeah, I remember this layer. Yeah, they're always like reskinned layers from uh, previously. Is that gold or, or uh, diamonds or at the uh, aquamarine? I always get those mixed up. Oh, it is diamond. Amazing. Awesome. Okay, if we come across any more of those holes, yeah, don't mind if I heck can do, but need to make sure that we're uh, nice and healed up because we took a, just a tiny little bit of fall damage right there. Nothing too crazy, but. Uh, you know, if we fall like 10 layers or whatever, we're probably going to take even more damage, right? Don't want to risk that. Don't want to literally die in the heckin' mines, because, or uh, the skull cavern, because unlike the Adventurer's Guild, which, oh man, we're almost out of energy. Uh, if, you, if you die and you like lose all your items, whatever, you can just pay that one guy to go retrieve all your stuff. I don't think there's the same thing here for the skull cavern, unless I haven't met the guy yet, so. Yeah, I definitely want to be super duper careful here, you guys. Let's try and get uh, some more energy back, try and find the way down. We're getting a lot of stone here, which is the main objective, so that's good, but... We might be able to make it a layer 10. I don't know if there's anything special. I don't know if there's anything special on layer 5. Like, usually every 5 layers, there's a heckin' elevator thing, at least in the mines, but they're supposedly not here, so I don't know if I missed out on anything by skipping 4 layers right there, but I don't know. At least we're a little bit d deeper down, but unfortunately, not having any luck finding the way down once again. Golly. Uh, if we have another hole, I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to jump in, or am I just going to leave from the staircase up here at the very front? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so there's a staircase right there. I could just leave that away. 1050 right now. Man, I, I seemingly have to break like every single uh, thing of stone over here. God, we had some really good luck earlier and now we're having like basically no luck. 11 p.m. right now. Oh, those guys do a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy though. Did I find the way down? I just didn't heck and see it. I've broken like almost every single stone. I'm pretty sure. Is this? Golly, it's the literal last one. Oh, this area is infected with the, or infested with slimes. It's 11 20 right now. Someone said last episode it was like layer 3, the same thing happened, and there was a prismatic slime. I don't know if that's. Oh, an iridium ball! Oh my gosh! This cave is crazy, you guys! Oh, I'd have to kill all the slimes in here to advance. Hold on, hold on. I could do that pretty easily. I've gotten. It. This is basically an iridium sword, if you think about it, right? Because it's purple. And these are like iridium slimes. Uh oh. Hold on, do I have a bomb? Look at all those slimes that are just lined up right there, you guys. If I had a bomb, this would be amazing. Hold on, hold on. Kill these guys. Thankfully, uh, this doesn't require any stamina to spam the sword. So, boom, boom, boom. Doing some great damage. And we got some white algae. I could eat that for a little bit of stamina. Kill all these guys. See if I can make the way down and maybe find some stuff. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's midnight right now. I, I need to leave. I need to leave. Come on, kill this guy. Kill him. Is he like, he's got to be the last one. There he is. Okay, cool. Right, I guess I'll grab this mushroom real quick. Boom. Oh, wait down as big. Yeah, well, yeah. Obviously, right? So, there you go. Anything here? Uh, yeah, just more of those monster guys. Okay, let's just leave, leave the mine. Yeah. We made it to level 10, though, so hey, <laughs> that was pretty good. We did skip four of them, so technically only like layer six or whatever. So hey, honestly, not even that bad. Uh, definitely do feel like if I start at like 6 a.m., which would be like, what, 10 hours earlier? Could I make it down to level 25? I, it's, I feel like, yeah. Like if I if I just skipped a level level and all that kind of stuff without a staircase, we could probably make it to level 25. It's, uh, t and a lot easier if I had the uh, upgraded pickaxe, too. Like, I just have the regular, what is it, stone, iron? What I don't even know what I have right now. If I had the gold one that's a little bit more durable and breaks all the stones at just one hit, yeah. We, we'd be able to make it down to level 25, no problem, if we just left it literally like 6 a.m., right? So, that sounds like a, whoa, what do we got? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go inside, let's go inside, let's go grab the cauliflower. So, so get the heck out, I need to move that guy, he's in the heckin' way. <laughs> there you go, cauliflower. We got a bunch of, uh, oh yeah, yeah, and then, uh, then, 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 this, this, what is it, what is it, what is it, crystal fruit. Yeah, crystal fruit. I wanted to get uh, crystal fruit. I saved it specifically for the, the kegs over here. So, uh, oh man, I'll have room. Can I smell? Okay, smell, smell the gold right here. Smell the gold. There you go. Oh, that didn't clean out in. Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, get that and then stack it up and then boom. Okay, there you go. Golly. All right, stack this up now. There we go. Okay. And then cauliflower. Put these in there. There you go. Cauliflower is like. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Then uh, we'll do the same thing here. Awesome. Awesome. It's 120 right now. Anything in my inventory? I think I do. I want to sell that diamond, get a little bit of money back, because I need the money. I need the twelve thousand for the barn upgrade. So I think I'm gonna do it. I need to make the iridium sprinkler. I don't know if I have enough. Because if I, if I make it right now, I can have it watering in the morning. And I can. Oh my gosh! I can. I can actually make both of them. I I just need to smelt this over. Not. Oh, do we have the time though? Golly, I don't know if we have the time to do it. Uh, sell the diamond too. Yeah, I think we have multiple. And then yeah, we have the purple mushroom too. So uh, 
Let's see if anything will stack up there. No. Okay, a couple things stacked up right there. Let's go inside. Let's go grab the iridium. I should have grabbed it while I was already in here earlier. Golly. Iridium. Coal. Uh, what, what else do we need for iridium sprinklers? Uh, gold and then battery pack. Okay. We, we could do that. I think we have that, right? Yep, we have gold and we have battery packs. Boom. Okay. Uh, we can make one right now and then we're, we're going to smell it and it's going to be done in the morning and we can place it down in the morning. Okay. Uh, so where is that? Where is that? Where is it? There it is right there. Okay, so we're going to smelt that. Then is there anything else I want to do here? We do not have anything else. We, we could just barely not smelt the copper right there. Okay. Uh, let's get the... Is 130 right now? Let's get the other iridium. There it is right there. Iridium sprinkler. We're going to have... Oh my gosh, it's going to be so crazy, you guys. It's going to be amazing. And then the only... Look at this. Oh, this is almost done. The only bit I'm going to have to do manually is right there. This is going to be awesome, you guys. Holy heck. Excuse my harsh language, by the way. <laughs> but, uh... I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think so. It's one. Fa okay, let's go. Go go inside. Go inside. Go inside. I don't think there's a penalty if you're in your house. But uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, my gosh, I made it. Oh, I'm in bed. I better shift over. This happened last time. I'm in bed. Yeah, okay, it worked. <laughs> I made it in bed in time, you guys. <laughs> awesome. 750 gold from the diamond right there. I thought it was only 700. I guess it's 750. I'm not complaining. It's a little bit more than I thought. 6,800 gold overnight. From the cauliflower juice exclusively right there, 6,050. That's amazing, you guys. Awesome. Holy heck. This series is really, really picking up right now, guys. We're getting a lot of money, a lot of progress. This is great. <laughs> and our iridium should be done right now, I think, right? Like, if we go outside, is it going to be done? Wow, a bunch of stuff just stacked up right there. We have another prismatic shard. I don't know if we should donate that to a museum or do it, put it in the little shrine again. Let me know in the comments down below what I should do there. I'm very, uh... Uh, curious what I should do, but uh, I need to, yeah, I need to keep that. I need to keep the battery. Uh, so just keep one of each. And then we get the iridium bar and we can make another iridium sprinkler. It's going to be crazy, you guys. Uh, let's put the gold star stuff up in here and the silver star stuff up in here. There you go. And the one sap and then, or the sap and all that stuff. Yeah, I I didn't use fertilizer like at all for the, uh, for a lot of my crops. So that kind of sucks there. Uh, we're at 8,000 gold. I need to get 4,000. Yeah, I should be able to do that from the daily mayonnaise and cheese and stuff. We should be able to do that, no problem, right? Uh, the iridium's still uh, smelting right there, which is actually a surprise. But look at this! Oh my- Oh, look at that! We have some, uh... What is that? Yeah, what is that? Hold on. We have some honey done, but there's the flowers aren't done. Is that just default honey? Oh, it is! Yeah, it's just wild honey, yeah. Uh, that's the honey that we're saving specifically to make mead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was wondering what was going on there, I guess. Yeah. Completely forgot that uh, it could just make regular old honey, too. But yeah, it, we have three three iridium sprinklers now. All I need to manually water is that one little section on the bottom right. And then this, which we're, we don't even need to water this anymore after... Uh, oh, the iridium's done over there. Oh, my gosh. But it's, it's, it's a little bit too late for it to water now. Anyways, it's going to be done uh, for next episode. Oh, my gosh. This is very exciting times right now, you guys. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Another iridium bar. We had the luck. I, this is what I'm, I don't know. I'm so flustered. I can't talk. So many things happening right now. But I, I swear the luck was neutral yesterday. I didn't check. What is the luck today? I need to see. Let's see. Let's get the iridium again. There it is. Okay, cool. Let's go place it down. And this is going to be... Look at this. All the melons over here. This is going to save me so much time. If we get that, like, automatic, like, egg grabber thing. What is this, by the way? Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share some good fortune with you, Linus. Oh, he's such a good friend. He gave me a cat. Hold on, is that... Oh, it's a Kamiri Center item. Oh my gosh, Linus is such a good friend. What is that, lake? Where's that at? There it is right there. Lake, no. Was that, uh, river? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you can get mixed up, but... Yeah, look at that. So all we need now is the shad right here. So how do you get that? That would be... During... It needs to rain during the spring, summer, fall from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, in the Forest River and in town. Okay. So next time it rains, I, I need to actually write this down. Next time it rains, fish for shad from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. in Forest River and town. There you go. Uh, written down in my notes. Okay, cool. So hopefully next time I remember, next time, I'm like, it's the summertime. It rarely rains right now. It rains a lot during the springtime, it seemed like, right? So it seemed like that was the best time to do that. But hey, at least we'll be able to finish. What was that, the lake or the river uh, one over here? Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool, you guys. We only finished up one of these uh, bundles here. We need to do more fishing. Oh, whoa, we have another thing over here. What is this? Fisherman wanted. I need a good puffer fish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment on the toxin created by the puffer fish. Reward a thousand gold from Demetrius. Ooh, don't think we caught a puffer fish. Let's see. My fish thing is right here. Yeah, I don't think so. I feel like if I caught one, I would have known, and I do not think it's here. So yeah, kind of sucks. We don't have the puffer fish. Now, how do 
How do you get the puffer fish? Puffer fish. Yeah, look at that little guy right there. Where is that on here? Weather during the sum or during. No, it's just sunny. Uh, time of day is from noon to four. Oh, wow. A very narrow window right there. And locations are all these places. Golly. OK, during the summertime on the beach, Ginger Island South. Don't even know what that is. Ginger Island West Ocean. Ginger. What is Ginger Island? Is that even on the map? But it's obviously it's an ocean thing, right? Hold on. Is that is that what this a lonely stone? Yeah, I don't know what Ginger Island is. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's like a new uh, thing that we're going to get later in the thing, just like the, uh, the desert was. And yeah, there's Sandy right there in the Coleco Desert. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's just that it has a very narrow window. So kind of have to go to the ocean to go fish from, what was it, noon to like four or whatever that was? Yeah, noon to four. Holy heck. 12 to 16. Man. Uh, I guess I'll write that down as well. Because a thousand gold. And I'm like, it doesn't expire or anything like that, but I need to write that down. There you go. Uh, just for Demetrius' mission. So hopefully in the background. Oh, whoops. Hopefully in the background we'll uh, we'll be able to catch that sometime, right? So that's going to be cool. But for right now, uh, I guess I'll just take care of all the busy work over here. You know, milking the cows, getting all the eggs, uh, take care of all that jazz, right? Milking the cows, petting the cows, milking the chickens. I said it again! Uh, petting the chickens, I meant. <laughs> And then uh, hopefully here in just a bit, we'll have enough money, you know, getting getting it from the mayonnaise and the, the, the gold star cheese and all the kind of stuff, uh, as well as the honey that we just picked up a second ago. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to sell all that stuff to Pierre, get some money. Uh, oh, yeah. And then I, I need to feed all these guys manually with the hay still. I, I know you guys said to uh, I cut this out of the video last episode because it's cutting about out a bunch of unnecessary footage. But you guys said to uh, and did I water? Did I milk? All, OK, I missed one cow. But uh, you guys said to whenever I'm, you know, growing the what's it called grass starters over here to do it at night so they have a little bit of time to spread. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Uh, so that, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'm going to wait until I have a few grass starters, though, uh, just because if there's only like one or two of them, obviously, it's just going to be done uh, in the morning. It's just going to be, get eaten because we have like, what, 15 heck critters here or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I already water. Holy heck. Yeah, did, did we already check them on that cave? I think we did, didn't we? I guess, I guess we already took care of all the uh, all, all the busy work. I didn't have to cut it out of the video. Holy heck, this is really good, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to all that being... Yeah, we already took care of that. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we'll go right now. Or actually, yeah, I, I guess maybe I'll just wait for all this stuff to finish up. Uh, all the mayonnaise to, to finish up over there. Hold on, any crops over here done, actually? If any... Uh, oh, and by the way, it never yelled at me about the trees over here being blocked, so I guess we're good. So, yeah, I guess we're fine there. Anything done? I bet that wheat's done. Hold on. Let me go check. Uh, let's see. Is that done? It is. I knew it. Okay, so we have some more slots open over there. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I don't know if we'll have the money to do this. But last episode, you guys know we have that mission. Crop order. Yeah, this one right here. And you get 100 rad. We have like 50 radish planted right now. Kind of thinking about planting another 50 and then using up all the sprinklers up here. And then I guess maybe get another row of sprinklers right here and then finish that mission like super early because it's given us like the whole season to do that mission so we could probably finish that pretty heckin early if we just buy another 50 seeds but that's i don't know multiple thousands of dollars and right now we're, we're saving up and by the way yeah while i'm inside there's a 2000 or two cheese 2000 stone <laughs> we have the 200 stone we need to get the uh the wood and then we'll have the money a little bit later too uh i guess we'll put up the wheat over here as well the gold gold star silver star etc and i guess we can go to the community center as well go pay that place a visit too uh, so anyways, let's put all that up in there. We have eight gold bars. It's going to be eight. It's going to be five gold bars and then 10,000 gold, I believe, right? To upgrade the pickaxe. And it takes like two days. So kind of need to figure out when we're going to do that. Uh, are the cheese over here done? They're not. But the mayonnaise is probably close to being done if it's not already done, right? Let's go check on that. And uh, not yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever these are. Oh, and I need to go. Uh, I need to go put the hay on the, on the, on the, on the cows stuff over there too. Don't want to forget about that. But, uh, I, I'm waiting on the mayonnaise and the, and the cheese to get done so we can sell that and get a. 4,000 gold, you know, get Robin to upgrade the barn. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit once all the mayonnaise is done. Oh, wow, the mayonnaise is finishing up right now. Nice. We got some void mayonnaise, duck mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise right there. Probably gold star. Regular mayonnaise, regular chicken mayonnaise, right? So, and boom, more right there. And then this last one right here is going to finish up here in just a sec. Uh, come on, hurry up. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Golly. <laughs> and then uh, the cheese should be finishing up here in just a minute. Uh, if not, then uh, I guess we'll, yeah, it's not done just yet. I guess we'll go up here, put the hay up here like so. Yeah, I, I definitely want to get some grass. I don't know if I if if I have a little bit of extra money, I guess I'll buy some grass starters from Pierre. But I I really want to avoid doing that if I can't. Right. Oh, here we go. The cheese finished up. Boom. There you go. Three gold star cheese. Uh, let, let's go sell the stuff to Pierre. And yep, all that stuff over there is watered already. Go sell all this stuff to Pierre so we get the money immediately instead of overnight from the uh, shipping container. Right. 
And then uh, I, I guess we'll go to the computer center, we'll go pay Robin a visit. And that'll probably be it for the episode, honestly. Like, wow. Like, it, it, this, this is only like 30-something minutes into the video, but I feel like I got... Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of weeds over here, actually. It's like 30 minutes in the video, but it feels like I got a whole heck ton of stuff done. Like, a lot of progress done. I don't know why it feels like that, but it does. <laughs> but uh, let, let's go to Pierre. Let's sell some of the stuff. Try and get some money. Wild Honey, 840 right there. Boom. And Void Mayonnaise, blah, blah, blah. Kind of want to keep that for uh, cheese or uh, what is it called? Cover poppers. We're at 13,000 gold right now. That's good. We need uh, 12,000 in order to do the barn. Now, where is the, what is it called? Ra Ooh, radish. 40 each. It's going to be 2,000 if I if I get another 50. So I'd, I'd be short about 300 gold. How much? Uh, I guess I'd sell this cheese then, right? Let's do it. Okay, sell the cheese and then get 50 radish seeds. Oh, we're going to have only 30 gold after this, you guys, after we start upgrading the barn. <laughs> what do you have to say, Abigail? I'm about to be super duper broke here in just a minute. <laughs> I'm looking forward to fall, the cool mountain breeze, the swirling red petals, and the smell of mushrooms. <sighs> really? The smell of mushrooms? Mushrooms have smells? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm not just walking around sniffing mushrooms or anything like that, right? Golly. Uh, let's go to the commuter center, and then Robin, I think she closed at like, I want to I want to say five. Because I know Clint and Pierre, I think they're at four. I think Robin goes a little bit later, and Marnie and Robin are a little bit later at like five. I think that's how it goes, right? So, uh, anyways, uh, the fish is over here at the aquarium. So, uh, drop off the catfish in the river fishing thing. There it is right there. Cool. All right, nice. And thank you very much to Linus for donating that to us, you guys. We got some pretty good progress right there. Not going to complain about that one bit. Uh, let me just double check real quick. Yeah, let's get the stone out of that. You know, the money. I think that's all we need to upgrade the barn. So let's do that. And then, yeah, whenever we upgrade the barn, um, let's move the silo too. Don't want to forget about that because I've always been wanting to move the silo and I've just been putting it off. So <laughs> let's do some two birds with one stone memes over here and try and get both of them moved. Get that spy. We haven't done any foraging really during summertime. I should probably do that pretty soon. Just because uh, whenever the, the, the berry season happens, whatever that. Oh, wait, isn't there not? I think there's not a berry season during summer. I think it's only spring and fall, right? I think so. Either that or it's spring and summer, but not fall. I know one of the seasons that skips the season. I forget what it was, but it's probably summer. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, construct farm buildings and then just move, right? Yeah, to move the silo. Because I kind of want to move it out of the way. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll move the chicken coop up a little bit and then put a fence right there or something. Just just so it's not blocking all this stuff over here, you know? Can I move it here? Oh, I can't move it because the chickens are in the way. Man! Or at least I can move the silo. Uh, I guess I put it back up here. Yeah, I'm like, there's nothing there anyways, right? So I guess we'll just put it, by, I don't know, right there. Yeah, put it, like, right there, I guess, right? I could put it over here, but maybe that's where we're going to put the keg or, like, the shed or something like that. Which, by the way, I kind of want to see, uh, what, what we're missing. Uh, can I move this? No, I can't move that. Man. Wait. I can't even put it back to where it was. Uh-oh. Exit out of that. Is that still there? Okay, it is. Golly. <laughs> All right, I thought it was, like, glitched there, and I just lost my heckin' barn. Oh, and speaking of barn, yeah, let's upgrade the barn. Uh, but real quick, how do, how do you make that shed? 15,300 gold. Okay, that's what you guys are wanting me to do for like storage and whatnot. And the fish pond, raise fish and harvest their, uh, their produce. 5,000 gold. Uh, we have the seaweed, we have the green outer. We I know we have that in storage somewhere. That could be a good thing we could do later. I don't know where we'd put it, but I don't know, maybe in that northern bit by the, uh, by the warp totem thing. And then there's a cavern. That's only for, uh, multiplayer, right? Stable is ten thousand. Yeah, we have the hard, we have a lot of hardwood now that we have a we're, we're growing the mahogany trees, right? So we could do that. I'm kind of inclined to do that next. Like once I have ten thousand gold again, like I'm kind of inclined to do because we have all, we already have the hardwood. That was like the hardest part was getting the hardwood. We have that with iron bar. I'm sure we have that. If not, it's going to be easy to come by, right? And the slime hutch, <laughs> iridium bar. I could probably have done this if I uh, just kept that iridium bar, but or bar, not barn. <laughs> Raise up to 20 slimes, fill water troughs, and slimes will create slime balls. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that sometime in the future. And then Deluxe Coop. Yeah, if I want to up upgrade the coop again, it's going to be 20 grand, and then 500 wood, 200 stone. But the big barn, yeah, this is what we're doing right now. So let's do this. Build, yes. Demolish, no. Build. So let's upgrade our current barn. So we could actually uh, have, what are they called? Goats, sheep, pigs. I don't know what else we can get there right now. Or at least for the upgrade one, right? Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, cool. So it's probably going to be done at the end of last or at the end of next episode, right? So that's going to be pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, is there anything? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I literally have only thirty gold right now. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm over there shopping right now. Yeah, I'm literally broke. But I guess I'll use this time to uh, 
Uh, should I? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm so conflicted on like what I want to do, but I I do need to go home, get get some more sprinklers, plant down the extra radish. And that's probably going to be the end of the episode right there, you guys. We're getting a lot of heckin' progress done, you guys. It might be, I don't know, it might be an, a sub 40 minute episode or something like that. I know, I know. F stop freaking out about it. It's, I know it's super duper short. It's basically a YouTube short at that point, right? So, <laughs> but at least we got a lot of really good progress done, right? So it's not like bloating the episode by me just standing around doing nothing. So, oh, what, man? <sighs> okay, well, that kind of got reset right there. Well, then again, it, we, we did get the honey earlier today anyways, right? So I guess nothing really happened there, I suppose. Anyways, uh, water these. And then I guess we'll have to make some more sprinklers for under all this stuff. Is that done, by the way? Oh, yeah, we planted that, like, a day later, yeah. Let's plant down the radish over here. I should probably get the uh, fertilizers, because we have a lot of sap. I'll probably get some fertilizer here in just a bit, too. Just trying to get some better quality over here, you know? Uh, there you go. Cool. Then I guess we'll do the same thing down here and plant these and figure out how we're going to put the sprinklers here. So, oh, whoops. Ah, I guess that was a good thing. There you go. And then I guess the sprinkler would go here, so that means this, this... This, this. And we can put a sprinkler, I guess, underneath the, uh, underneath this guy. So that's kind of interesting there. We'll do this. And I'll go like this. Now, I don't know if this is enough. How much do I have left over? I need to check here in just a second. So there you go. Then, with 36. Ah, we might need to do another 3x3 three three over where that tree is. Yeah. 13. Oh, we're going to need to do two more of them. Golly. Okay, let's get down this tree. Make a little bit more room over here. And then uh, let's go make the sprinklers so we can actually have this finished, right? And here we go. Okay, cool. So now I just need to water these after I'm done planting them all, right? So there you go. And there you go. Cool. Let me just water all these real quick and I guess we'll start making the sprinklers and probably end up... Oh, yeah, there's literally a... <laughs> we're getting comments. There's a few slots up here with the uh, sprinklers right there, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could plant something else there. I don't know. But, uh, like I was saying, let me let me just, uh, water all these plots over here real quick. There you go, those are all watered. Noise, noise. And I guess, yeah, we do have some time in the day. It's, uh, almost 6 p.m. right now. Or, it literally is 6 p.m. Uh, and I'm, I need to get, yeah, I need to get a little bit more, uh, sustenance in my body, so. I should probably eat a mushroom or something like that here in just a minute. Or, yeah, I guess I'll eat the white algae. Where did I even get that from? I don't even know how I got one in the world. How do I have this? Well, let's go make some more, uh, sprinkler. Hopefully we have enough materials to do that. Hold on, was it copper? Is it gold? I think it's gold and quartz, or uh, refined quartz, and then I think this is it, right? To get to the regular, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I need four of those. Boom, I can make a fifth if I want to, which I might. Uh, if I place that word, or if I made that word, I even place it. I think I'm gonna keep the materials in case I need it for something, right? So, let's put all those up, there you go, cool. And uh, golly, that's crazy, we have another prismatic shard. Oh, oh yeah, you know what, I, I might as well start smelting some stuff here too, by the way. Uh, just, you know, whilst time is passing, while I'm doing basically nothing, right, so. Get the copper and the iron done, just because the heck and gold takes forever. We'll save that for overnight, right? So, uh, there you go. Wow! We had exactly enough uh, copper right there. Awesome! Uh, and the co Oh, yeah, by the way, I I'm not planting any more coffee over there. You guys said I have more than enough coffee over there, so... Yeah, all the extra coffee I have, I'm just keeping up in storage, at least for... Wait, what in the world? Oh, I did need a fifth one. Man! Ah, <laughs> probably getting comments about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was just four. I forgot there was one over there by the heck and, uh, the, the... Whatever that guy's name is. That's Scarecrow, golly. <laughs> Let's plant, uh, let's get some more, let's get some iron this time around. There we go, and I guess we'll do a couple gold as well. And let me go make that other sprinkler real quick. And honestly, I could probably put another sprinkler right there, and then all this would, uh, except for that spot right there. I don't know if I really need to, honestly. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I do have that other sprinkler done, so let's go place that down over on. Yeah, there we go. And now everything, oh man, I forgot the... <laughs> I know I'm getting comments about this. I said I wanted to get heckin' fertilizer and get the sap and all the guy jazz. Golly, I forgot to do that. Let me go get that done real quick. Oh, hey, look at that. We have a couple grass. Yeah, well, I could make a couple grass starters out of the 25 fiber right there, but yeah, like I said, in the morning, it's just going to be all gone anyways from the cat. I kind of want to wait until we have like, say, five grass starters or something. That, that, that sounds like a good number. Uh, but for right now, yeah, I uh, got the 50 fertilizer, so let me just fertilize all the crops. Well, some of them are already uh, fertilized. I got that done uh, whenever we placed all these down not too long ago, so that's that's good there. It's going to save us a little bit there, but let me fertilize all these down here as well. All right, nice. I think we got everything over here fertilized. Awesome. We have four left over. Okay, cool. I don't know what we're going to do with it, though. It doesn't let you fertilize things after the fact, I don't think, right? So I guess maybe we'll put it up in storage or, or over here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it doesn't let you do it right now because that's already grown right there. Man. All right, well, we have a little bit extra iron left over. Uh, and then that's gold up there, right? I think we have some more. Yeah, we have a couple of gold we can smell, so there you go, there you go. Cool. Uh, do I want to get a sprinkler right there? And then we have just literally just one right there. I guess we could do it. I put that refined quartz in my inventory just in case I wanted to. I guess we'll do it, yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and it's going to be all this is going to be automated except for that one right there next to the heckin' witch. So yeah, this is going to be awesome, you guys. Holy heck. Yeah, let's do that right there. Cool. So it's going to water out those right there. And then that one right there. I'm going to, have to manually water every single day. I'm probably going to get comments saying I'm going to I'm I missed it or whatever here pretty soon. I wouldn't be surprised. But it's 10 p.m. right now. Um Yeah, we already already got the eggs, all that all all the mayonnaise, all that kind of jazz. Yeah, there's nothing else I need to take care of. Yeah. I guess we'll just go to I'm I'm like so wanting to do something right now because I don't want to go to bed at 10 p.m. But I guess I'll go to bed at 10 p.m. So <laughs> let's go do it. Is there anything I need to sell uh, overnight? I don't think so. I, I think anything we need to sell, I already did. So I guess we're good. Good to go in that regard. Let's put up the extra fertilizer up over here. And I guess we go to bed at like uh, 10 30 p.m. Like a normal person. So <laughs> here we go. OK, awesome. So there you go. Let's go to sleep for the night. And progress has been saved. A lot of progress. I'll tell you that much. Man, holy heck, today was such an eventful episode, you guys. Probably the best episode in a few episodes. Such a weird statement. It's probably the best episode in, like, ten episodes, if I had to guess, right? So, uh, or, like, the most productive episode in, like, ten episodes. I don't know. Then again, we had the first summer. That was super productive. I don't know. It was a good episode altogether. You guys already know the deal. Golly. So, uh, oh, yeah. Let, let's go see what the, like, basically fully auto. Oh, my gosh! Four iridium sprinklers going. All these over here as well. Oh my god, look at the peppers are done too. Are the, uh, what are those, red cabbage? I guess those aren't done just yet, but the red peppers are. Holy heck, yeah, those finished quick. We need to go buy another. And the orange is done too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's the community center too, right? Yep, 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 yep. Where do you, where do you put that? Pantry. Animal. No. <laughs> An orange is an animal, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we're going to finish the artisan bundle. And then the big barn is already going, so we, we, we're going to start getting the goat milk and the wool and stuff. Holy heck. We're finishing. We're getting the greenhouse super. We're, we're probably next. I don't know about next episode, but two, three episodes from now, we're probably going to get the greenhouse. I don't know. Super duper quick, you guys. Holy heck. This is awesome. Look at this. Man, I feel so proud. And then, of course, don't want to forget this one small little plot right there. I need to water that every single day. <laughs> But anyways, this episode was super productive. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out <laughs> so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley in this weird creature next to me. <laughs> oh, bye there.